It's been some time since I did my last video, but tonight I built this little contraption. So what is it? It's a constant adjustable current sink. I'll just show you the schematics real quick. These are the schematics and power supply for the current source. Um, there's a voltage divider between a 15 kilo ohm resistor and a 5k trim pot, 10 turn trim pot, to adjust the voltage at the positive input of the op amp. The op amp is used in a negative feedback configuration, so the two inputs should be pretty much the same. That's because of the op amp action. The op amp drives the gate of the um, MOSFET, which dumps a current through this one ohm resistor. For example, if you got two volts here, you have to drive two amps through this one ohm resistor to get two volts here, so these two are equal. So if I apply two volts here, I get a current of two amps independent of the voltage applied at the input. If I adjust it to one volt, for example, I get a constant current of one amp. So let me show you this thing in action. I hooked it up to my power supply. The voltage is at 6.8 volts or thereabout at the moment. Doesn't matter for the constant current source. I hooked uh, my multimeter in milliampere range in series. It's still turned off by now because there's a little fan in it to dissipate um, the heat better. So I will turn it on right now. Plug it in. You hear the little fan going. And now I can adjust the amperage by turning my knob here. I'll show you the reading of the multimeter. If I turn it down, it goes even goes down to zero. If I turn it up again, it goes up 10. So let's adjust it to about 20 milliamps. That's the best I can get. So if I wiggle around the voltage, i show you the reading. It doesn't change at all. You hear the clicking of the relay of the power supply. I'm turning it around between 5 volts and let's turn it up to about 20 volts for example. The Amperage reading hasn't changed at all. If I turn the knob of uh, my current sink, I can change the amperage. So, for example, you can change uh, the brightness of an LED by adjusting the current through it, and the brightness doesn't change if I change the voltage. I'll wiggle around right there. Doesn't matter. But if I turn oops, my knob here, by changing the amperage, I change the brightness of the LED. One really big advantage of using a 10 turn pot is that you got a wide dynamic range. Let me show you that real quick by changing to the um, from the milliampere range to the ampere amps range on there uh, I'm at 11.2 volts so let's turn that up oops did not connect it all right okay here we go so let's turn up the current 
and you can adjust to about one milliamp precisely and the current goes up to amps a couple of amps and turn it back down again so now I put in a one amp and if I wiggle around the voltage it actually does change guess it's getting a bit too hot right there let's turn it down wiggling the voltage again there might be something wrong I just found out what was wrong the connection between these two wasn't firm enough so we had a resistance in there I put them back together better and now if I change the voltage, the amperage doesn't change. It starts to change though when we get below about 2 volts. There. If we turn it up above a certain threshold, it keeps fairly stable. So let's see, I'm going to turn it down and let's see when it starts to change drastically. I'm at 8 volts, 5 volts, 4 volts, okay, below about 5 volt the regulation gets a bit fuzzy, above 5 volt it stays stable. Okay, so let's turn the current back down so it doesn't get too hot. I'm just gonna show you the inside real quick. There's not too much in there anyways. Below this big heatsink is the MOSFET directly in front of the fan. Front here is a uh, is the uh, 1 ohm resistor. I just made it out of uh, low temperature coefficient wire. In front here is the big hefty 10 turn pot and the two binding posts. And in front here is the voltage regulator and on the back here you can see the little op amp that does the magic. It's pretty easy to build though. I, it took me about four to five hours from to build this from scratch with making uh, the PCB, developing and etching it. So that's a pretty cool handy project if you don't know what to build next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.